Hey, Tony, Greenlight Gamers, let's jump right in with, uh, let's see, we got Cliffy B, and he's saying he's not burnt out after only two Gears of War games, but there's still plenty of story left in the Gears universe, and there's a lot more you can do with a cover-based shooter. Hmm, he's got no interest in working on any other licensed IP. He's quoted as also saying that if someone forced him and Epic to do a new game, say, based on The Mummy, he'd put a shotgun in his mouth. All right, well, Cliffy, before you go and do that, how about you fix the lag and all the problems going on on Gears of War 2's multiplayer? I mean, this is the 360's, like, biggest title next to, what's the name of that other game? Oh, yeah, Halo. <laughs> this is the biggest game on the platform, and the online blows. Fix it, dude. Get you and that Mark guy, forget his name, I don't have it on my notes. Get you and that other guy and fix the frickin' lag. Because, I mean, it's... We can't even play it. A lot of people just don't even play it because of all the lag and all the other crap that goes on. And all the cheating. And you guys have just really dropped the ball. Fix it! Alright, so we got uh, Project Natal on the Stephen Colbert Show. Um, head over to our website at uh, greengamers.wordpress.com and check out a uh, link to the video of... Natal's appearance on the show. I gotta tell you, um, Colbert wasn't really that funny. I mean, you can just take a look at the link itself. Uh, head over to our website and, um, you know, jack up our uh, hit count. <laughs> um, what was funny was uh, Colbert's ear. Like, he just cut his hair. At least I think he just cut his hair. I, I don't watch the show very much, so I don't know if, you know, it's an old haircut. But he cut his hair and it's very short and he's got one ear that's like, I don't know. Just take a look at the video because it's kind of weird looking. Anyway, uh, then hoo -hoo, we got Facebook and the 360 in the news together. We got cross-platform uh, playability for the 360 and Facebook games like Scrabble. Now, um, Ethan Beard of Facebook's gaming platform says yes, that the games will be cross-compatible. So if you're playing on your PC, um, you know, Scrabble on Facebook, you'll be able to play with someone who's playing... Um, Scrabble on their 360. Uh, yeah, great. Um, EA made the 360 version, the Facebook version, and the iPhone version of Scrabble. So it stands to reason that we could see cross compatibility with all three. And the question is, why? <laughs> I personally don't particularly use Facebook, so and social networking sites just. You know, it's not my thing. So, you know, I don't know about the rest of you, but I think the 360 and Facebook uh, update is complete crap. <laughs> so, you know, you uh, go ahead and take it from there. All right, we got Fallout 3 coming up with some more downloadable content on June 23rd. That's Point Lookout. And then on July 5th, we have Mothership Zeta. Uh, that's going to deal with some sort of alien crash site. So, you know, I'm Bethesda's really milking us with the uh, downloadable content. So, head on over to Xbox Live and uh, spend all your Microsoft points. <laughs> now, let's see. We got a uh, quick review. We got Prototype. Um, let me tell you, uh, I got it. It plays a lot like um, the Hulk Ultimate Destruction. It's made by the same guys. So, you know... Very similar. The graphics are decent. Nothing groundbreaking. It's you know definitely not uh, you know the best thing on the 360 or um, PlayStation because it's out on PlayStation 3 also. Um, there's lots of side missions. You know, you know you gotta get to a certain point uh, before the time runs out. Kill so many enemies before the time runs out. Those kind of missions. Uh, the stealth isn't really that great. You know you can kind of sneak. And then one odd point is to sneak behind someone while no one's looking and consume them and their energy and their knowledge and all that stuff. So that way you you know you can use it for later on in the game. Um, basically, as soon as someone turns their back, you know you can uh, consume them. And as long as the person that's standing in front of them has their back turned, uh, you'll be able to do it. So really, not very stealthful. You know, it's definitely not in the vein of. Uh, Splinter Cell or uh, your Metal Gear games, you know, so 
as far as stealth is concerned. The battles get pretty intense because not only do you have um, military forces um, after you, you also have these uh, creatures called hunters which are out to get you and then you have like the infected mob which is also um, your enemy. So once the battle starts heating up, you have these three factions all gunning for you. It gets pretty crazy, but you know what? For me, what really impressed me was when I was able to jump into the different vehicles. You can jump into a tank and blow the crap out of everything in front of you. Um, and then you can jump into a helicopter, um, which is just awesome. <laughs> you know, you just, you know, rockets, machine guns, just, you know, complete total havoc. Um, prototype, I think, is a buy. So, you know, if you got the 60 bucks, go out and get it. All right, real quick, we're going to give a couple of shout-outs to the Greenlight Gamers crew. Uh, the review index has been expanded, so head over there for uh, your uh, 360 game reviews. Um, we got a couple of editorials up. I believe there's three new ones. Um, we got a very opinionated group over there at uh, greenlightgamers.wordpress.com. Uh, you know, give them a read. Maybe it'll uh, get you to leave a comment whether you agree or disagree with what they're talking about. Uh, you know, you can always find us over at playfire.com, and uh, I believe we also have a couple of guys over on gamebetties.com. So please feel free to uh, check out those sites and uh, look for us. All right, and don't forget we're also on Twitter. Yeah, we're on Twitter. Later. <laughs>